Hi guys, it's Alexis, and I, yeah. <laughs> Okay, hi. Um, as you can tell, I'm in a different environment. I actually am back in my dorm room and I am back in college. So things have been a little bit weird the past couple of days. I've been adjusting and moving in, so I haven't recorded any videos, but I'll start doing that after this video. Okay, so I thought it would be appropriate to kind of do a story time video of my summer semester in college. It was kind of interesting, but now that I'm thinking about it, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Okay, anyway. Okay, so it's like the second week into the semester and I ended up going to a phone party. And it wasn't just any phone party, it was a phone party thrown by the sorority, or the big fraternity that was on the campus. And, uh, yeah. So I was like, okay, let me go. And as a part of my first experience class, I had to go to a social event anyway, so I was like, why not go to this social event? And me, I'm at the event, I'm wearing just a sports bra and some high-waisted shorts. I'll probably put a picture in somewhere. And yeah, I was living my life. I'm walking around, me and one of my roommates are walking around the basketball court. It's fully lit. I feel somewhat safe and we're not too far away from the dorm. Okay, and mind you, we're still on campus. We're, this is our second time walking by the basketball court and tell me why I see a car come out of nowhere. I mean, it literally came out of nowhere. And then it pulled up right beside me and my roommate and two guys hopped out of the car. Why? Okay, and so then me and my roommate like, well, me, I started walking fast. I was like, I gotta get out of here. And then afterwards, she was laughing. She was like, why were you running? And I'm like, I wasn't running, but I had to speed up. I literally thought I was going to die because the boys were coming after us. And then one goes to her, one goes to me. And I guess she was playing hard to get. And then the other boy noticed and he was like, well, at least you're not like your roommate, ha, ha, ha. And I was like, hmm. And he was like, can I get your number? And I'm like, <laughs> But I was so stupid that I ended up giving him my number. I was like, ah. I was like, it's no big deal if I give him my number. I just don't have to text him. Okay, so we said our goodbyes. They went back to their car. We go back to the room, and as soon as I get to the room, I have a text message from someone I don't know. It turns out it's the guy. I don't text him back. Okay, about maybe two days later, tell me why he adds me on Snapchat. Okay, Snapchat got me messed up because you know how like when you add someone to your contacts, you can find their Snapchat? Yeah, that's what he did. And I look on his story and I'm like, that's who I met that night? Like, it was so dark, I couldn't see his face. But yeah. Honestly, the encounter was supposed to be harmless, and I kind of feel bad that I acted the way I acted. But honestly, who wouldn't? That's really shady. So I guess the moral of the story is, don't walk around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and um, not expect to get kidnapped. Okay, well I thought I was going to get kidnapped, but it didn't. I'm still here. It's cool. What they did was really shady, but it was supposed to be harmless. Okay, so that's it for my little story time. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get back to your reactions. Hopefully after this video, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. I haven't really been eating. I've been just trying to get my room together, get adjusted. Um, so yeah, please be patient with me. Things are gonna be a little weird trying to shoot in here with me and my roommates, but I'm gonna try and make this work because I honestly started this for a reason, right? So I'll see you guys later. Expect an 
reaction video after this video and until then sit back relax and enjoy your free time because starting monday i have classes so i'm not gonna have free time okay bye guys <laughs>